What is going on folks? I've got my associate riding along with me today. <laughs> She's looking for a treat back there. I'm out at Countryside today and we've got a lot going on so I just want to do a quick update um, and kind of show you around to each project. We've got the new house on 26. I've got an empty lot on number 20 with a new house coming next week and then another empty lot on 112 that I'm kind of open to suggestions on what, what I do there as far as house size and bedrooms, bathrooms, all that stuff. So we're going to stop by each project and have a look around. Um, just a quick update of everything going on at Countryside. So this is lot 112. And this is the one where I'm still tossing around a few ideas. I could fit up to about an 1100 square foot double wide home on here. But I'm also toying with the idea. So you'll sit out here and look, that'll be your front yard there. That's the driveway up there. Um, the other thought I had for this was go the route more of a tiny home. So one bedroom, maybe two, and one bathroom, and just see how affordable we can get something. So for people that are downsizing, first time home buyers, or people retiring wanting to move to the area, you know, do a one bedroom, maybe 600, 700 square feet, but nice. And you still got the yard, and still have your own space. You're not sharing walls with people. Um, I don't know. I don't know if there's a market for it here. It seems to be getting really popular. You see all the TV shows popping up on HGTV. Um, so I could do a three bedroom, two bathroom, double wide with a higher price point, or go the small route, tiny home-ish size, and just see if there's any interest there. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. What do you think of tiny homes or smaller footprint homes? Okay, next stop, we're gonna head over to number 20 where they're just finishing up the pad prep and then on to 26 for our final stop. Okay, here we are at 20. Just two days ago, there was a house sitting there and it is now gone and they're just putting the final touches on the pad prep. What do you think of that tree on the right? few people I've talked to say it should go. I want it to stay, maybe just trim it back, but let me know what you think there. They're just finishing up. The house is coming next week. So let's take a walk down the road to 26. Both of these houses are on First Street in Countryside. And what I like about this street is the maples that line each side of it. And the lot sizes on this street are absolutely massive. So 20 to 26, I'm already almost there. But yeah, everything's well kept on this street. There's a couple new ones, some from the 70s. Uh, and then the two new ones, 2020s from us. So here we are coming up on number 26. Let's have a look. Last time we popped by this house, it wasn't on its permanent blocks yet. And this wall wasn't here, so that's new. There's gonna be two steps down coming from the driveway and then a walkway to the front door. Then we're gonna have a deck coming off the back door. Property line goes just about to the edge of that shed there. So lots of space. If you like to have a big yard, you could also build a carport or garage back here. It just has to be uh, 10 feet off the road, so lots of space to do that. This dirt pile here, we're getting the electrical upgraded from 60 amp to 100. A lot of the old parks are running on 60, but these guys are upgrading to 100 whenever a new house comes in. This shed was existing, I'm gonna repaint that. This is the backside, so even more space. Like if you like to garden, Oh my God, you could have 10 gardens on this thing. Nothing but space up here. How's that for the perfect neighbor? Huh. And I don't know if you saw the video where I showed how close this is to the golf course, but it comes right off the 11th tee box uh, up to your left is the 11th tee of the Salmon Arm Golf Course. About 200 feet up there in the trees. 
so that concludes the full tour of the three projects we've got going on. That's the update. You know what you might be wondering right now? And the answer is yes, I do have a selfie stick. What do you think about it? I can't afford to have my full own camera crew yet, so till then, get to walk around with this thing. Anyways, that's it for today. I'll have a new video next week when we get the new house coming in. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.